Hey guys, it's Wart. Welcome back to the video, and today I'm going to talk about what I believe to have been leaked for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate being the five upcoming DLC fighters. So, this isn't a very popular thing being talked around. Uh, me and a couple other people actually came to this sort of quote unquote conclusion about who we are pretty certain who the five DLC fighters are for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate using the data mine that has been happening for this game. So, huge potential spoilers ahead. Make sure to proceed with caution with that out of the way. Basically what happened is not specifically a folder that says five upcoming fighters and we click it and there they are. No, nothing like that. But rather we decided to use a process of elimination on what spirit characters are not actually being listed in the spirit files that we think have huge potential for DLC. Now these aren't just like, oh, okay, you know, there isn't a uh, septile spirit so we think there's going to be a septile Pokemon fighter. No, these things make a lot of sense when we talk about them. Uh, and they're just hugely notably missing. Now I originally was not team... Uh, you know, spirits deconfirmed fighters, and I'm still not really team with spirits uh, deconfirmed fighters, but um, these characters are so notably missing from the spirits list that it just raises a couple uh, alarms in my head to say, hey, wait, we might be onto something here. So, enough talking out of the way. Let's go ahead and say uh, what these fighters are. So, Notably, that we have three people that are mainly missing. First one being Adeline from Kirby. Now there are a ton of Kirby spirits, and Adeline is the most notable Kirby character missing from this. And when I say, like, random Kirby characters, um, there are really a lot of them. We have characters like uh, Plasma Wisp. Do you know who that is off the top of your head? No, but most people probably know who, um, you know... Adeline is, and now she isn't the most popular Kirby character out there, but she is a pretty well-known one, uh, pretty recognizable, but compared to someone like Nago, Adeline is pretty popular, and Nago has a spirit for Kirby, so she's notably missing, and we think that she's a good chance for DLC, knowing that she is pretty much a fan favorite among Kirby fans, uh, and then not only just Adeline, we also have noticed Silex is missing also in these files, and Silex is also a red herring for us because of the fact uh, Metroid Prime 4 is coming out pretty soon, and Metroid Prime 4 could definitely do some kind of cross-promotion by adding in a character like uh, Silex, who we do believe is to be heavily featured, and you know, Metroid fans know this, that Silex we think is going to be a heavy main point in Metroid Prime 4, and him just being completely missing with a ton of other kind of Metroid characters as well is definitely our really interesting fact to see that it's completely not there and last but this one is certainly not least is porky from Earth earthbound and this is the most suspicious one uh basically because porky was a straight up boss in brawl and to him not even have a spirit in that regard but also not have a spirit in earthbound which gets so obscure characters they even have ness's dad as a spirit but not porky one of the main characters I'm not really buying that, and also he's not a brawling world of light or anything like that, so don't go ahead and start saying that. He's not. No, we. I really am certain that I think Porky's happening uh, because of this. If not, I'll be really alarmed, but this just is so suspicious how he's not even a boss, not even a spirit in the game. Makes me really think that he's a potential upcoming fighter. Uh, another thing I, got, I forgot to mention that gives kind of traction to this sort of, uh, you know, spirits for DLC fighters aren't actually existing right now is one thing. PD Piranha, or sorry, uh, Piranha Plant does not have a spirit himself. The first DLC fighter being Piranha Plant, of course not one of the five, but as a period or bonus, does not have a, a spirit listed in the game anywhere. Not only that, also, notice how the final number, total number of spirits is 1297. That's three less than 1300. Do you think those three characters maybe were the three kind of uh, characters they cut when they decided the DLC roster and they went through and deleted those spirits? I think there's a chance of that actually reality being there. Just those three, just three off from 1300s is really kind of interesting to me. Um, but with that out of the way, uh, the two other kind of fighters that we have speculated on right now is uh, Minecraft Steve. Now, there's obviously not a Minecraft Sp Steve spirit or anything like that. Uh, but we, Virgin Man has said that he knows that there's going to be Minecraft content, at least in upcoming DLC or at least in the game. And searching through all the data mine stuff, we can't find any Minecraft anything. We're not saying Virgin is unreliable. Uh, the opposite, honestly. We think that Virgin just is heard that we think that there's going to be a Steve character uh, at this point. Because if there's Minecraft content coming, we're pretty certain that it's just going to be a character. Uh, but if not, another interesting thing we found from the data mine is actually a uh, Jet Force Gemini uh, spirit. What? Yes, a Jet Force Gemini. That is a rare made um, game, and Jet Force Gemini having representation in this game 
just doesn't really make sense. It's completely owned and published by Rare, and just get their IP for that. Maybe hints to Banjo and Kazooie, who knows? It's just kind of odd that they're in there. Uh, I think also Blaster Corpse or something else is also, uh, interestingly in the game as well so that's really odd that they're in the game but there you go and then last but not least of uh, the last fighter we've also heard virgin man say that he knows of another square enix character and process of elimination people believe it to be chrono from chrono trigger uh sadly gino does have a spirit so if we are going by the rules that uh, spirits can become from character then i don't think gino's happening but like I said earlier, spirits may still not be from characters. This all might be just completely wrong, and these characters are not spirits for other reasons. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, we think that the the final, you know, kind of uh, DLC fighter will be the Square Enix character. Maybe it's Sora. I really doubt it. Sora, just wishful thinking. There you go. It's not Square Enix. I know it's Disney and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but we think it's Chrono. It could be, you know, maybe a Dragon Quest character, which also seems pretty likely to me. Maybe it's, uh, you know, another... Uh, Final Fantasy character, who knows? But there you go. There's the five people, the most notable ones in this video that we talked about are Adeline, Silex, and of course Porky. So those guys are really interesting to me. The fact that they're missing a spirits and those other two using other extent external information is also really interesting. Uh, and also, I forgot to mention it, but yeah, Chrono from Chrono Trigger is not a uh, spirit anywhere to be found. But there you go. That's gonna wrap up this video. Um, let me know what you guys think about this whole kind of discovery we made, and make sure to like and subscribe and all that if you did enjoy. And just let me know what you think in the comments below. See you guys next time, and bye bye